Okay, uh, I just finally got my external hard drive, the Toshiba drive from Rosemont. Cost me $67. So, no, I don't work for Rosemont, you nut jobs out there. There's all these people saying, oh, I work for Rosemont. Oh, I'm actually the coroner because I'm trying to cover something up. No, what, what I actually do is go where information takes me, okay? So today, after when I was editing and, uh, you know, putting together uh, a video for that shows all the movement of everybody in the hotel, um, I mean, the friends and Kanika, basically, not everybody, but um, I came across the upper kitchen video exe file in the uh, you get an exe file when you uh open up the hard drive okay this, this is what they look like you know wait station exe then you have to go through all of them and i've gone through all of them during the you know the, the relevant times okay so what i did was i'm looking i was looking for the upper kitchen so i typed in up okay and then that shows the upper kitchen right there and then when i you open it this is what you get you get the actual file that was recorded by the camera and you'll see that um, you know there's Kanika coming in all right and then after she goes by it skips all the way to you know when the other that person comes in at like eight something and then another person comes in at the manager comes in okay but that's really not what I'm talking about here. So at this point, you can hit Save As, this 3GP file, and that actually gives you the full 20 hours. But what isn't really making sense right here is that this is such a small file, 7.89 megabytes. Okay, so there's no way you can get 20 hours into something that small. Okay, so what I did was I, uh, I did save it as the 3GP file. Then I loaded it into Adobe Premiere, and then I used this my own little timer here to sync up the time because this, for some reason, this particular 3GP file does not have the time code on it. Okay, so try to figure out what I'm going to be saying here. It's kind of it's kind of strange, though. I got to be honest with you. All right. Uh, so right at the beginning of the video here, this is the whole 20 hours. I wish I could show you my whole screen. It it actually, um, the timeline in Adobe Premiere is 20 hours long. You know, you can zoom in and out of the timeline. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit down here just so I can. Okay, so here's Kanika coming in. Oop. So you know she's about to come in, right? But let me, I'm going to do something here. I'm going to zoom in on this object. Anytime you got an object like that, you get pixelation around it pixelation over there and so forth. So I'm going to scale, I'm going to zoom in. Okay, now watch the pixels out here and here around that as she's walking by. Here we go. All right, see how there, there's just massive shift in pixels? So even when she leaves the camera, while the camera is filming, you can see that there's pixels changing around because that's what you get with when you shoot video, okay? Um, now I'm going to zoom back out here. All right. Now notice, you know, when she goes back around the corner here, you see the little shading on the wall. All right. And then it, that's when the motion capture stopped on the original. And it seems like what's going on in this one is they're doing something it's already stopped. Now watch how crazy this is. So she goes back there. Now I'm going to zoom back in on that spot. Okay, I'm going to go just a little bit before so you can see the pixelation moving. See how the pixels moving? You know, little dots here and there. Boom, little big change. Now look at nothing. Absolutely no pixelation at all. That's right when she walked around that corner. And if I was to zoom out here and then scroll by, I can, I am right now, look at the timer at the top, four, five, six, these are hours. That thing does not, not one pixel shift in that entire video until you get to where that guy came in at, uh, let me 
this don't go by this clock right there I'm just showing you uh, I use that for a reference for myself okay but um, I'm gonna zoom out again And then let's watch this video where the guy, that other guy comes in. All right. Yeah, so there he is right there. Now watch, you can even see right now on the screen right here. There's no pixelation at all. Nothing moving, nothing moving, nothing moving. And then as soon as the camera starts recording again, you get the natural pixelation per frame. Okay. It's pretty crazy, actually. I um, So I'm going to... I'm going to zoom back in again. So right now we know the guy is just coming into the room. I'm going to zoom in on that spot. You get some good pixelation there. All right. So he comes in, and then he leaves the room, and then look at that. Nothing. I could, I could z scroll for, like with the timer at the top. I am scrubbing along. Scrubbing along means you're moving through the timeline uh, manually with this, you know, on the computer with a little, uh, it's not really a dial, but, you know, a placeholder. And look at that. So 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11, 12, not a damn, not one pixel change. And that just, that cannot happen if that's real video right there. So what I'm thinking is when you, this 3GP file, since there was so little motion at all during the day, it only had three different uh, motions in 20 hours, that it actually fills in the gaps with a still from the room. Okay? And that's crappy to do. All right? Um, to save space, I think that's what it's doing. But that totally opens the door for people to say, wow, so there could have been all kinds of movement in there when you just replaced it with a still. Now, if the software does the replacing, that's great. But I can tell you right now that these are, this is a still frame, all in these hours. Um, absolutely from, I mean, look at the timer again. So four, three, I mean, this, that's even, this is the 10th right there. So you're looking at 16 hours of absolutely not one pixel shifting on the screen. You know, maybe, maybe a couple. Uh, I mean, I did see something right there. Let me go look on that. I'm, I'm actually seeing that on the fly. That that could be good news for anti-conspiracy. Let me let me look here. Saw something moving right over there. Okay, there is a little little something moving. Uh, let me see if it keeps moving. Yeah, so there's nothing moving there, but there was that little moment there where there was some pixelation. Like it might have recorded something, but I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty experienced with video, and I've never seen a video that could film something for that long and get no pixelation whatsoever going on near objects like that. Okay, um, you know. I haven't seen anything in this case that, you know, points to a murder or anything like that. But this is the first thing that I've seen that does, you know, it's it's odd, right? There might be a, a perfect explanation for it. Yeah, like right there, you see that? There is a little bit of a shift right there in pixelation, which is, you know, mildly good news. But there should be pixelation all over the place. Every time... So let's go back into when Kanika's walking around and then just look at the, those spots. See, right now, the whole, everything's shifting. Like, just look anywhere you want to look. Okay, I'll play it at full, regular speed. Just look around. There's different, you know, pixels moving around on all of the different areas and so forth. And the thing is, I actually compared this with another 3GP file in the hallway, though. I think it was a lower level hallway. And uh, there was long gaps between motion sensor, but it was recording. You could see that there was pixelation on all the frames. So 
This is the only one that doesn't have that. Okay, that, that I've been able to find where it's absolutely no movement whatsoever. I mean, there is a little bit right there, but it's just, it's just not enough, you know, like, uh, you know, I do, you know, I see something over there, but it's just, you know, it's really strange. I'm not really sure how to actually explain it, to be honest with you. Um, I mean, there is some pixelation there, though. You know, maybe it just does a good job of, like, when, when there's no movement, it just kind of, you know. <laughs> to be honest with you, I can't give you a good explanation. I mean, so for right here, here's 502.57. The next even slight movement there is 8.05. So you're talking about three hours of a supposed video filming and no pixelation whatsoever. So, I don't know. Something's, something's odd with that. I've never seen anything like that um, in a video. It's actually impossible to do, especially with this low quality of, cam uh, of cameras, these low quality cameras. They uh, pixelate and have poor compression. Okay? So, the thing is, is there really should be a ton. I mean, look at that. 620... Nothing, nothing moving in there, okay? So, I'm just telling you, I keep it real. When I see something, I say something, but I hadn't seen anything yet. Um, all I've seen was, is crazy videos of people saying that an ice scooper is beating up somebody in a corner. I mean, what I'm doing right here is real, okay? And I, I can't explain it, but it sort of makes, um, you know, some sense if you think about, like, here's a file size at 7.89 megabytes because all it recorded in that day was Kanika, her, you know, like that 30 seconds that she walked in there, and then like the eight seconds that that other guy walked in there, and then maybe 40 seconds when the assistant manager walked in, but it was only about half of his movement, so maybe 20 seconds. And, you know, the time gap in there it was it's 20 hours in there. So the, the program, the 3GP program might actually just fill that in with stills because it's like you know it wasn't recording but the thing is is it should be recording right like shouldn't it actually be recording 24 7 like the other cameras you know I, I don't really know i don't have an answer for you but maybe there's somebody out there that knows more about this than i do um i can just tell you from my experience using video that something is you know weird here Okay, uh, let me, there was one other thing that I thought I noticed too. Is like, so look right over here, right? And right now, look at the time. I'm just going to scrub it by. Now, see, there's something, a little shift there in pixels, even though there is some change, like right there, there there's some change. Uh, yeah. So let me, let me put that on this one this one this video here isn't i'm not i didn't have it all well formed out i'm just sort of talking as i as i'm going and i hope that doesn't bore the hell out of you but uh okay so right when there's more motion if you look up here um see there here's a still that basically filled the whole day you know they just filled it in that's what i mean it's just odd like right there there's a slight shift and that's you know, there is a little different, like it looks like there was some shift in overall pixels everywhere. And that, you know, that, see how it's dark at the beginning and then it gets lighter. It's almost like they found, there was like a, when I say they, I mean the, th the either the file or, you know, if you believe in the nefarious angle that somebody did it, they used a lighter frame or the software picked a lighter frame and it fills it in because right now we're talking about 332. Now look at that. Just kind of look anywhere you want to look. There's just absolutely, I'm scrubbing as fast as, like really fast. So the time of, those are hours, 10, 11. There isn't any th movement at all in the pixels until right when you get to where, right here. 
All right, because right there is when that guy shows up, right? You see that? So now it looks normal again. You can kind of look around, see how things are kind of moving. Ooh, right there, big jumps and pixels, because that's, that's what it does. All right, and then as soon as he leaves, it's back to the... Um, I wonder if that's the same still, though. Let's look. Yeah, that's funny. You can see that still there, slightly dark there, the angle. All right. And then Atlas go back to here, right at the beginning. It's a little different. And then it looks like it's back to that little, like they use the same still. Again, when I say they, it could be the 3GB, 3GP conversion or some nefarious still image covering something that's going on. All right. But I have to just be honest. That's, uh, there's no evidence of foul play. I can just tell you that. That's an anomaly that I can't explain, and I just made a video on it, okay? I don't work for the hotel, okay? If I did, I wouldn't be working there tomorrow, right? <laughs> uh, but, you know, something is a little strange here, and that's all I got for you. And then somebody else, if somebody out there has the answer, let me know. Okay, I'd appreciate it. Thanks a lot.